Hello and welcome back to Tawani's Pilgrimage. Today we are in uh, Scorched Woods and we are going to be doing the Mercenary of Scorched Woods. We are uh, right here at the zone line from Lyceum. And uh, the quest guy for three of the five Mercenary quests is right here. Uh, the other ones are located within the zone. Uh, let me see if I can figure out where they're at real quick. I know their names. So one of them's right here and the other one's right here. And those are kind of like conflicting factions, so we may or may not be able to do those today, but uh, we'll figure that out eventually. All right, let's go and hail last uh, strategic Pomori. <laughs> Turns his gaze to you from a far distance. Welcome to the Scorchwood, Tawani. A dismal signal, signal, or dismal sight, is it not? You may be uh, be of some use in our plans to move into this region. Use? Drive back the uh, indig indigenous chafe. We'll secure our flanks if we're going to hold the area. All right, so we get three quests here. Um, and they're pretty much just uh, go kill quests. We don't have to collect anything for these ones. So let's just go and grab these. And then we'll go over them. All right, so kill... Uh, what six ember or cinder dubbers? I think those are those like the bugs. Uh, extinguish fire elementals, six of those, and clear out skeletons and gorillas, six of those. All right, all right, so let's make our way over here to Guardian. Uh, what's his name? Liminos, and we'll kind of see here. So, are we we're indifferent to the centaurs right now? And there's a group over here. Let's wave at them. And let's see if we can find this guardian guy. Um. Oh, we're not even close. Jeez, this zone is huge. I didn't even realize how large it was. Alright, let's con these guys real quick. Yeah, still indifferent. They supposed to be like right here. Why am I blind? <laughs> oh, look at this guy. He's majestic for sure. There he is right here. Alright, Guardian Luminous, let's hail him. He looks upon us anxiously. The Bernii have no respect for Tunar's gifts. Their strip mining is destroying what little left of our ancient wood. Their mining? Stop the taskmasters and we shall see their progress grind to a halt. So, or burring uh, de desecrators. Uh, that's going to have us go kill the uh, taskmasters. So the other guy, I would assume he's right here. So let's just run over there and grab the quest. So when we start killing them, we're going to become KOS to one of them. Uh, and then you have to like switch factions to complete all the quests in the zone. Which, you know, obviously doesn't seem like a big deal at the end of the day. Because you're going to want to grind for... Uh... At least we're amably to these guys on <laughs> what we did in life. All right, Taskmaster here. Let's go ahead and hail him. And I forgot to get the quest on the other two. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Paul for uh, some assorted gemstones and polished coin. Need dig kill horses. All right. Bad horses. Let's accept that. Glances easterly, pensively nodding his thick claw. Bad horses. Mm, squinting his eye. Determined glare. All right. We got to go kill some bad horses. All right. So let's uh, grab that on these ones real quick. Just so we're uh, good to go. I cannot trust you with this task. <laughs> dubious. I'm dubious on Ketka. All right. Well, I don't know what Ketka did in her past life, but she is dubious. <laughs> All right. See, she can't get bad horses. That's unfortunate. Um, which we might. We might have to like change the order so you have if she can get this one. Mining. There we go. She's able to 
get that one. What about these guys? Can they get it? All right. <laughs> so I guess we'll kill Centaurs first. Uh, since uh, Katka does not have the reputation with them. Or the uh, whatever. So we can kind of find a spot. There's a guy down here. So maybe if we go over here. You're like here's a Ember Dauber, right? I assumed it was a Hornet, right? <laughs> From the old Burning Wood. There we go. These hit, hit like smokestacks, man. Everybody's going here. And I have, uh, I have my bard in barbarian form. I don't know, I thought that'd be kind of cool. Let's see here, let's do a group shrink on this group. All right, but so this is effectively the same as Burning Wood, right? It's literally like almost the same zone layout. Like Chardux up there, like you can literally go to Chardux Skyfire Mountain, has a different way to get to it. Same place as like the giant fort kind of got bigger. Uh, the, the, the miners are mining out where the meteor is that hit for, uh, uh, I can't remember. I think it was the, uh, one of the quests. I think is I think you go there for the mage epic. I think that's what it was. Oh, somebody has a spam button. Elvish. Oh, there we go. Get rid of that. I was teaching Holdridge Elvish, and uh, I used that character. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's just keep running around here. Uh, just kind of looking around the zone, right? We have all those quests we're going to do. What is this? A Sarnak? We don't have any kill quests for that one. I'm not going to bother. Actually, let's look, let's look at the new model, right? This is the new Sarnak model. And, you know, people talk about how they like the old graphics, but damn. Like, this is like a cool looking Sarnak. It looks like an EverQuest 2 Sarnak, I think, uh, is the trick here. So, definitely a uh, cool looking thing. And we'll be fighting lots of Sarnak because we're going to be progressing through all the mercenary quests in pretty much every expansion from this point forward. And then uh, when we have to do the partisan quests, which are the, the ones that give them the good rewards uh, experience wise. What the fuck? Look at this worm. All right, we're going to go. <laughs> Go test our luck against this son of a gun. Look how big this thing is. I know we're strong, but this is so awesome. So awesome looking. I don't know. That's why I like the later expansions. Like they, the graphics start looking really nice and like it's just fun content. I don't know. Wait till we get to over there and it's just like crazy. And this thing's got some hit points, though. I'll tell you that. And then, uh, like, later on, we're going to get into, uh... Uh, Claws of Vision. And then in that expansion, there's these undead dragons and stuff, man. It's just so cool. Like, I love killing those things. My bard cannot hit, uh, hit the broadside of a barn. There we go. If I get on the side, they can hit him. But... Well, the tank is tanking very well, I think. And there we go. 107. 107. How much experience did we get off that? 0.3. We were really close. Uh, so we got combat stability and agility. 68, 61. Armor of wisdom, 27. Natural du durability, 18. Delayed death. Uh, looks like everything's just like a plus one to like everything we've already had, right? So we're going to take less damage and do more damage. 
Oh, look at these things. They got like the Sarnak battle shield on them and everything. Look at this thing. Like, I know we don't even have to kill these, but look how cool they look. <laughs> it's like this, the Skyfire sword, right? From uh, the crypt. Plus the shield is just like phenomenal looking. Go. Might as well slow him or something. All right, I think we're going in the wrong direction. <laughs> like we need to, we need to, we need to actually focus and uh, look for these undead. Like I don't, I know it's really dark, and I don't know if it's just like the zone or whatever, but we do have uh, Faerun, so we do have like ultra vision. But uh, it doesn't really seem to work very much anymore. Like uh, Ultra Vision used to like to make a like a tinge, a like blue tinge to the, the the screen, right? Like on the old uh, CRT monitors and stuff back in the day. Don't really see that anymore, or I'm just like used to it. <laughs> At this point, it's become no the new normal, right? But what is this? A giant. We have to kill giants? We don't have to kill giants. What is... Alright, we're gonna kill a few of these uh, centaurs then. Let's see what kind of faction hits we're gonna be dealing with. How big of a hit it is and stuff like that. Oh, wow, those Sarnax have a ton of... Uh, a ton of them, jeez. Go. All right, so the, the Claw Digger Clan, 10, and the Majestic Centurions, 10. Uh, uh, Kedka, still dubious. What does she need? <laughs> uh, okay, somehow she's amiable to the, I don't know, me, her? Is this, the, this isn't the same one from the original game, I know that. Because that would be kind of funny. There's a hornet. There we go, so this is just going to be a nice chill, chill episode of us going around Scorched Wood. Grinding away on uh, these things. We're 107 now. You know, we're one step closer to to uh, 120, and uh, that'll be good. So the experience here is, uh, yeah, is meh, but as you can see, I'm also running around a lot, so that's not what, uh, not really what I'd want to do. Let's get the straggler right here. I mean, we gotta kill six of them anyway, or whatever. Probably more, just so she can get the faction. To be able to get the quest in the first place. <laughs> Seven of them. Seven bad horses. And then, uh, seven more after we finish the quest, and she has the faction. Typically, you don't have to go turn these back in after you get them, though. Alright, let's go... Let's go where I get in this area. Plaguebringer... I don't know, it sounds kind of like... Undead. It's just like... Such a barren wood. I wonder why they changed the name. Um... Like, I know some of these zones, they have to change the name because the files, like, they don't, and, like, some of them they call them, like, uh, like, Burning Wood 2, right? And stuff like that, but. Why is she over there? That was weird. And she's the healer, too, so that would have sucked. Alright, looks like we got an ad on one of these guys. 
I hate how all my characters got levitate. It's really annoying. There we go. Switch back to that. It's very, very dark. I don't, I don't even think gamma works anymore. You can't even change that, I don't think. Yeah, not available. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Get over here. Alright, we need to kill these anyway, so might as well. But, uh, I don't know, this tank, the tank mercenary, I don't know what level it started being better, but here at, at 107, it is actually tanking the mobs now keep in mind this expansion we are currently in is for 105 <laughs> like we're leveling past it and that you know it's probably why the experience isn't too hot but like we should be in we should have you know move over into like over there or something like that but the mobs hit so much harder <laughs> i don't really want to try and we need to knock all these mercenary quests out, so we're going to do that. There we go. Looking good. Just got to see if I can find another one. Another crater over there. The mobs are very sparsely found, and that's kind of like how the old original zone was, right? They're not, you know, like a dungeon where they're like easy to find. And that was, you know, one of the, you know, it's more of a solo zone, right? Like, uh, like a druid or a necromancer can go in there and solo, wizard, you know, and the old one, so. I think in these encampments up here. I think this is a giant fort, honestly. Yeah. I think over there is, you know, you're going to find a little bit more uh, groupings. <laughs> Alright, we got another centaur here. So we're just going to, ooh, got a plague bone. Multiple plague bones. I don't even know where they came from. Oh, god, guy, you're going to die. You're going to die. Um... AoE mess, jeez. Drop some healing out here. I don't even know where those plague bones came from, so. There we go. Got that one mezzed and perfect. Switch back to normal songs, and it looks like we got a centaur coming towards us. Yeah, had to use, uh, had to use my, uh, shaman. Um, uh, I have them on the burns, but it just, like, drops out a lot of healing real quick. There we go. Whatever, protection of the guardian or whatever. Whatever it's called. Group heal. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't, the, the flavor on some of them, like, I, I kind of like how EverQuest 2 does the ranks. So it's like healing rank one, two, three, like, in, instead of having greater healing, super healing, complete healing, you know, like, I don't really, I don't really care about the flavor of each heal. I like having. You know, like, I know Torpor is, you know, a heal over time, right? I don't need, what are they, what are they called? Like, uh, that's the wrong character. Um, Re Sh Shear of Renewal and, you know, all that. Like, it's just too much to think about. And especially when you're leveling really fast, right? You know, like, what is the name of my spell and all this, right? Other collectible. Or 
we have some worms. But uh, worms aren't on the menu right now, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> as much as they are, you know, fun to fight, I don't want to worry about them. Uh, moldering gorillas are on the menu. There we go. Oh, this is gonna complete the uh, roaming scourge. Now, from what I understand, I've, if I'm not mistaken, these uh, these uh, mercenary quests are repeatable. So if you're farming centaurs, you know, you want to keep getting the quest because you get uh, 0.4 experience, 100 of platinum, you know, and uh, it's got a 15 minute reuse. So definitely something like if you're going to be in a zone for a while and you know you're going to go kill gorillas or whatever they are, uh, you can get them again. All right, let's keep going. Where are we? Let's just kind of look around here. So Chardock is like tier two, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it's a slightly more difficult than this zone uh, and the other tier ones, but we're not asking him. We're not going to go in there right now. We will eventually. Uh, I think I've been in there once or twice with my other characters a long time ago. Um, it's hard. Like, it was hard for me. And uh, I think like, I went in there at like 1, 110 or something like that. It was pretty hard. But uh, I think that was my first set. I started playing again like two or three years ago. Uh, before I got better at uh, multiboxing. But I was doing six characters, so... It was a little bit more challenging at the time because I, I hadn't I hadn't fully invested in learning how all the macros and stuff that I could make to make things easier, and I had a uh, I had a less than optimal group set up. So we'll, we'll eventually try it out. I think this tank healer or this tank is working out pretty well, so we'll definitely. Uh, be able to push it. Man, where are these hornets at? Let's kill the centaur. We need to finish this quest. Yeah, we need four more of these anyway. Go. Nice. That was worth points. <laughs> it was six, what? All right. So we're apprehensive and now amiable. Kudka is still dubious. What? Oh, man. She needs like seven more just to... Uh... All right. I hate centaurs. They always assist. Go. And I've been uh, planning. I'm planning something for for uh, for November. Uh, it might. I might delay it till till uh, December or January. But planning something. I'm thinking of some new series to add to the, sh the channels and stuff like that and um, uh, I was thinking, like how can I like someone suggested I, I play a rogue right and a uh, solo rogue at that and I'm trying to think of how I could do it and then I realized with them with the mercenary right because I'm like I'm not gonna play any character without a mercenary I consider mercenary to be still solo like I don't like it's a part of your character right <laughs> like having a mercenary is part of the game now like solo 1 to 60 with a fungi tunic maybe you know on a TLP or something like that but I was like I could just have a healer mercenary and I'll backstab it when it's on the <laughs> there and then bam it's easy because the healer mercenary just can't die right like they're like god modes throughout like almost the entire all the content in the game so I don't 
don't know. It's been, uh, it's, it's like an interesting thought, right? So I'm thinking that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, for the extra backstab damage, right? You get, the, like at a certain point, I think it's like 59, maybe you get the stab anywhere. So you can still backstab from the front, but it's not as much. But I, I think I think it's gonna eventually have the same problem as Tawani did. But at the same time, what I was doing with Tawani, I probably could have just kept going solo, like uh, instead of pushing to, you know, tier one, the tier twos and tier threes and all those zones I was doing, I could just stayed in tier one until I out leveled it. So something there, I kind of regret since I was doing the self found but I'm going to try it with a rogue I think eventually like a ro like a, at the first rogue will be really rough because they don't have anything uh, but then later on they get like the backstab from stealth uh, you know attack so I can sneak around it'll be kind of fun so I'm you know planning all that out uh, I'm trying to think of thematic zones right that's kind of like where i try to go on some of these characters is thematic zones for like you know that class right it's kind of hard for uh some of these like what is a thematic zone for for rogue <laughs> and where are they uh but we're gonna do a halfling uh that's uh that's how I'm gonna plan it out. Uh, probably, probably do a male halfling, and uh, yeah, I think it'll be fun. And then I have a uh, uh, solo beast lord I'm gonna do, but I think I'm gonna make that a uh, YouTube members Patreon uh, content, and just have that like a. Uh, ep you know, episode a week or something like that for that, just to uh, kind of start building that out. And uh, I think it'll be a accelerated start, Beast Lord. I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I haven't fully committed to anything yet. Tr Tucker, uh, the Chucker, tiny dragons fly now. Kill what? <laughs> All right, what is that? Is that a uh, Some kind of named. This guy hits pretty hard. Man, look at that. I did a triple strike for 29,000 each hit. Jeez. Conflagrant Diamond. Well, thank you very much. I have so many Conflagrant Diamonds, it's hilarious. I don't know what it is, but the, uh, like when you do Overseer, right, and you get trade skills, trade skill items, right, you get that, that load of items, you get a lot of everything, right, you, it's, it's just, it's so, so overwhelming the amount of stuff you get compared to what you get fighting, right, so during, uh, the Terror of Luckland, oh, jeez. Uh, he's not named, and I'm not gonna. Yeah, he's. I'm not gonna waste my time on whatever he is. <laughs> he's not. He doesn't have the rare tag. He's not worth the effort. And he's a quest item guy, probably. Uh, but like in Terra Lucklin, I was trying to get the garnets, the uh, the diamonds equivalent there for questing, and I found that they only spawn on certain mobs, like the gargoyles in. Uh, oh, what was that zone? One of the zones, it's like an in, indoor castle. And uh, some other some other mob in the uh, in the zone before it. <laughs> I totally can't remember the names of them. Uh, and oh my gosh, that was so difficult to get diamonds. Like I was trying to make gear for uh, Nomagard, I think at the time. And it was just like pulling teeth to get uh, enough of those those things to do it but now i have like ten thousand of them from doing overseer <laughs> like it's crazy 
a long-winded way of saying that like the overseer is the best way to get trade skill materials in the game uh, yeah it's just crazy now there is like in C calls of Ishin, killing the undead worms outside of cov can drop anything and those seem to be the best way to get trade skill, those trade skill materials because that's how i that's how i made armor for all my characters i just went there and grinded those killed the name you know grinded and just went all the way through all those drakes or not drakes but they're dragons they're undead dragons they look like draco liches or whatever and uh just did that that's how i was able to make tier three uh cov armor without having to do a lot of stuff and then doing a Zand like you do Zandakar, you go in, wait four hours or six hours, whatever it is, and then you go back out and kill those and just re rinse and repeat that cycle over and over again until you have enough uh, ore and uh, material to make uh, make uh, make yourself the armor. All right, we're gonna keep killing these uh, centaurs. Uh, we... <laughs> what happened there? He gated, but he wasn't like dead. I don't know. So confusing what happened there. I like lagged out or something. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like an explosion of dots on him. Yeah, I got all that stuff. Jeez. I have a new respect for shamans after putting a little bit more effort into this one. All right, we're just killing mobs at this point because uh, I'm having a difficult time. Oh, we made it all the way around here. Let's go north. I want, I need hornets, right? I need two hornets. I need elementals. I haven't even seen a single elemental yet. Spirit of the incarnate. So maybe right over here is where the fire elementals are. So we're going to do that. And then we're purposely not killing the Bernie eyed uh, at the moment because I need to get the quest on uh, Keke before we do that. Because she barely has the uh, faction now. And uh, I don't want to mess around there. Okay, I think we're going to get a worm add on this one. Yeah. There we go. Let's get some group stuff going here. Let's get it slow. I'm tanking both of them, I think. Jeez. There we go. Shade of Renewal out, because uh, if not, you're you're totally slacking out. Got another one. Get this one slowed, please. There we go, slowed. Just the shaman. I'm gonna do sluggishness. Looks like she's got it good there. Yeah. Your turret is immune to fear. <laughs> oh, me. I probably should take intimidation out of the, uh, out of her macro at this point. 0.5, not bad. What are we at? 8% in? These guys are not even close. It's kind of funny, like, you know, like I leveled, I, you know, 20 was already like 90 or something when I made those characters, so. It's, it's interesting how close they, uh, they've gotten, but they haven't been able to surpass her yet. All right, kill this guy, because he looks like he wants to mess around and find out. 
Let's grab some dots on him. Come on. Go. Alright, so which way are we facing? Because we need to go this way. Uh, we just need... What do we need? We need this guy right here is what we need. Got him. Slow. I need to look at my slow macro. I need to make sure it's doing... Like, uh, it does AoE and then the single target. Because, uh, there is a delay between the AoE ones, like 30 seconds. And when I need it, I need it. <laughs> Alright, we got a mercenary point. Yay! Uh, my mercenary's been leveling up pretty well. Um, I just put some points into her earlier, so that's kind of, kind of surprising. Like the first time I went through the game, I got like no mercenary points. I think it was on Nomar Guard. And it wasn't until I started doing the like missions and stuff like that where I started gaining that. And it, it was annoying because you get that high and you have like a mercenary with no points at all. There we go, fire elementals. I don't want to fight three of them. What is this guy right here? A constructive magma. All right, jeez. That sounds painful in every possible way. Um, can I dispel that stupid? Uh, I can. <laughs> that is so awesome. So this is uh, a Bashi's Rod of Disempowerment, right? So that is a uh, Vulak drop from uh, uh, uh Velius, jeez, I don't, can't even remember. Uh, so it's still useful today. It's a very good uh, right-clicky item. I've had in my bag since... I don't even know. I think since I killed Volak with her. <laughs> I think I got lucky on the first kill. And 22 times 22k times four. Boy, that is some good, good damage. All right, I'll grab this guy. All right, he's got a shield too. Now, I think it's only pure casters. Like, there's an AA. Because I, I remember having this issue. Uh, I had to have, like, no regard. I just swapped out one of my uh, priests for no regard in one of my, my groups just so they could kill the things in Terra Luckland easier. Um, I think it is. Uh, what is what are these little tiny things? All right, I'm not messing with wildfire. What oh, jeez. Construct of coal. All right. So it looks like the uh, the big ones don't actually even count, so that's unfortunate. So we'll kill this one, and then we'll just try to kill the fire elementals, I guess. And we still need to find more of those... Daubers. I think whatever we killed last time didn't even count. Come on. This thing's got some hit points for sure. Oh, and he has his damage shield back. Oh my gosh. Eh.
All right, I guess we're gonna get a two for. No, we got one. Perfect. All right, dispel him. Don't really need to slow these things. What is that? Bladed song. Oh yeah, the same time I do dots, the uh the bar does all her AAs. I totally forgot about that. That's how I line those up. Which yeah, you know, it seems like a pretty good time to do them, right? It's a time you want more damage, right? And those, those Bard AAs do a lot of damage, truth be told, like, uh, Boastful Bellow and stuff like that. They ain't shabby, I'll tell you that. Spirit of Flame. Where's the Bard? Spell that. And while we're dispelling that, I just want to see if there's a dub. It's hard to tell because I don't know all of them yet. I'm going to kill a wildfire real quick. I can't kill it. <laughs> you can't even attack him. That's fun. I wanted to see if it counted for uh, the quest. Wow, we hit that one for 67,000. Go. So we just need... Three more. Two more after this one. So it's just a matter of going through this, uh, I don't know, field of fire and trying to find them without getting too many mobs on us. Let's dispel this one. I know, like, I can I can add the spell to my spell bar on the shaman, but I prefer to use AAs instead of messing up my spells. But uh, being able to do it with here with the uh, monk is fantastic. Uh, let's go back over this way. There's one right there. That's not in line of sight. I, I, I am, and again, I apologize about how dark it is. This is a very, very dark zone. Uh, but I don't see us coming back here, so uh, we'll be done with this zone whenever we finish this. We need nine taskmasters. We need a few more centaurs, I think. I might run by there and see if she can get that real quick, but I don't think uh, I think she's going to be able to pick it up yet. All right, let's get back down there. Because now all we need to do is kill those. So that'll be easier. Maybe I'll find some centaur I can kill along the way, like this poor sap that's just standing here. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that damage just drop him so fast. Twenty six thousand, jeez. I think the uh, if we were using one hand blunts, it would be 
a little less damage, but the hits would be just so fast. It'd be crazy. But I think two hand ends up being more damage at the end of it. Cause we just, what was that? Like a, a like a three crit for 29,000. I mean, that's what it looked like. We also tank better with uh, two hand. All right. So these are all worth six. I don't know why the first one was worth more, but it is what it is, I guess. All right, where are, where are you at on faction? 35, so three, they really a gated? Where did gate two? That's just weird. Like, I have no way of stopping something from gating, so, I mean, it's just painful at this point. He's like stunned, something stunned him for a few seconds there. These were six. Yeah, this is gonna be painful when we have to, when we have to switch. So uh, we'll probably do whatever the centaur quests are first, and then uh, I mean not centaur, but the uh, the miners. are still only worth six yeah she's gonna need a few more i'm hoping at that next like an apprehensive she can get the quest and then uh we'll be good i mean i don't mind grinding grinding these things they're worth 0 0.2 each but It's just a matter of like what's the what's the most effective method, right? He gave he like he gave it again. He wasn't even like hurt. God nonsense is this. Get over here. Is that just like the mechanic of these dumb things? Is to like he's gating her again. I can't attack him while he's gating. Doesn't even make sense. See, I can't attack while the gates. What is this nonsense? There we go. This one's not gonna gate. I don't think. It just doesn't even make sense why they would gate, and then I can't attack them while they're gating. points so two more will be into the next tier hopefully she doesn't have to go all the way to amably to get the damn quest that would be ridiculous not like it takes a long time but you no know, that one was worth 10. maybe it's just the scouts that gate let's see what this one does here yeah he's gating what a weak little bitch <laughs> All right, let's get this guy here. Come on, DPS.
All right, we're apprehensive now. Let's go see if that guy will give us the quest. He's right over here, right? Apprehensive, and he still doesn't want to give up the quest. But a little, he's a little bitch too. Oh man, and I'm kindly with this one. Yeah. All right. That's unfortunate. So I think what we'll do is we'll get these last few over here. So we're going to be, something's wrong with you. You're crouching for some dumb reason. Um, I just need to find these daubers. Uh, let's see here. There's one. Straight ahead. Should be able to run right into it. Heading to the left. It's like so hard to see in this zone that it's like, oh my God, how many mobs do we got on us? Jeez. All right, the, the tank's dead wherever she's at. <laughs> uh, that's good. Let's just keep running. DPS is dead. All right, hold on. Let's uh, fade, fame death. Can you? I can't. It'll wear off here in a second. I don't think that giant's coming to us anyway. Where is the stupid icon? It says it is straight ahead. Like, I feel like we're going, ah, there we go. It's like we're going nowhere. Oh my god, Mercury. <laughs> Who's what? Oh right, yeah, we got a few mobs on us now. And we don't have a tank. Uh I believe we still have the healer though, so. So we'll we'll get them back. I'm gonna probably what I'm gonna do uh, after I get these two daubers right here, right? Uh, I'm gonna grind uh, centaurs until she can get this stupid quest, <laughs> and then uh, we'll we'll cut back in and uh, finish up the uh, the taskmasters. Because when I kill the taskmasters, it's gonna mess up the faction that I'm trying to get for her. So. We'll do that. Hopefully that other one's still right here, right? It's like down the road. All right, two of them. Go. And dots. Definitely a little bit 
Yeah, it's not too much harder, right? Like, it's taking a little bit more time to kill without the, uh, the rogue mercenary and the other one. All right, we got that one done. And let's go ahead and switch you back into that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over there. I'm going to kill, uh, I don't know, probably a thousand more centaurs. I don't even know how many she's going to have to kill to get to, I guess, the next tier. Maybe indifferent. I can get the quest. And then uh, we can continue this, uh, the rest of this and kill the nine uh, taskmasters to finish the mercenary of Scorchwood. All right, all dead. All right, so I'm going to go do that, and then we'll cut back in. All right, so it requires a different faction to uh, get the quest, so... I was able to do get the quest. I just went ahead and did it since it was only kill seven centurion or centaur centurions. Oh my god, what is going on here? All right, they just have terrible pathing. Ah, oh, see, mess that whatever that one is, and we have to kill task masters here. I don't think we have to worry about the other ones, but we need to kill nine of them. So it's just, I guess, run around this little mine here. Drop them. Oh, the mercenary is getting smoked by uh, by these. Uh, I did res them. Uh, they don't have any buffs other than shaman and mercenary buffs. So uh, they are a little bit more fragile than uh, when we started for sure. Uh, but this should go fairly quickly. As we uh, make our way around here, looks like a taskmaster right there. What? Where did these guys come from? Oh, oh my gosh, she's dead. All right, um, hey, we mez seven. Are these things not mezzable? Is that what, what the real problem is here? Eight, seven. Oh, come on, get this salute window out of my way. Oh my god, another one. Jeez. Oh my gosh, fade. Alright, how do I don't even know how to get out of this? Let's fade again. All right, so uh, that, <laughs> that was a disaster. Uh, Ketka's still alive down there for the moment. Let's see here. So apparently, this is a uh, this is a disaster area down here. Uh, absolute mitigated disaster of uh, thing. I didn't even realize I was gonna get killed on <laughs> Tawani that fast. So. It's great. Fantastic. Um, let me clean this up, right? I'm going to have to uh, get everybody rezzed up here in a second. And uh, figure this out. I don't, hopefully. Okay, this, so there's no mobs on us. We can drop this. And I don't think we're like, yeah, we're amable to these, so. Luckily, we were able to uh, take care of that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get her rezzed, and uh, we'll go from there and <laughs> finish this quest. Uh, going guns a-blazing is probably not the best idea for uh, this cave. I didn't realize they would be that aggressive. So we'll deal with that and uh, go from there. All right, we are back. <laughs> Uh, everybody's rezzed. Everybody's got some buffs. I sat in, uh, I sat in, uh, playing the knowledge for a little bit, getting, uh, buffed up while 
I took her some other things. So I want to finish this quest up. Oh, we only got a few more to kill, so might as well do it here. Uh, and one thing, I, while killing the centaurs, I got this ring. Uh, the sage's golden ring. Uh, you see here, it's uh, it's 200 and something AC. Uh, the 36 is from the AUG, but uh, it is a... Uh, nice ring because it is 1000 hp more than the equivalent uh conflagrant ring right plus it's some more heroic stats minus whatever this one here at 49 charisma geez uh but you can see there and it's got more everything but it also came with a form of defense xx iv so uh, what was that 26 versus uh 20 so it gave me six levels of uh, armor class. Uh, it is a raid, raid loot equivalent, uh, actually. So it's kind of nice. Just a random drop off of a uh, random centaur I was killing. Uh, I think it's one of the, like, there's uh, these, they, some, some people call them chase loot. Uh, it's like the uh, epic rare items of the expansion. So definitely uh, was nice. So I don't even see where, like, we had one, and now we have two. So this might be not as, as easy as I thought. And are you, like, not mesable? Is that, like, really what's going on here? Cannot be mesmerized. All right. Burns. All right. Jeez. Come on. All the burns. Okay. We're not going to be able to come down here anymore. Uh, this is just not smart in any possible definition. Mobs just come out of nowhere and uh, attack. There we go, we got our army of uh, clones attacking there. Alright, let's get you a little bit closer. Alright, jeez. Alright, let's get them out of here. <laughs> let's get them up here before they die again. Alright, everybody is good. Alright, I'm going to break follow. I'm going to double shrink real quick. So I do not like being large. And I'm going to mark 20 as polar. So that means everybody should, in theory, stay there. But unfortunately, I do have the tank. Uh, like, I have the tank on me. And uh, I don't know how well that is going to cooperate with this. I should be able to get all the way back here. right? She stayed right there. Yeah, this is too far out here for my liking that's fine the bard can stay over there I don't need her to do anything she doesn't do anything but play mana song and haste and all that I'm getting some of that right over here a little bit out of range but you're not gonna get any heals <laughs> You dumb uh, mercenary. So that's that's gonna be problematic, I guess. All right, we gotta find a taskmaster. Now, maybe if I run past the group a little bit, there's gotta be a way to do this. Like, yeah, this is not gonna work out that way. I'm gonna take off polar. Because it's not pulling it to where I want it to go, right? There we go. Right, another mercenary point and another Cinnabite. It's just like, it's like, I feel like they're instant spawn, honestly. Like, there's always a mob up right in this general area. 
go diseased. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's see here. Maybe if we go down in this gorge. That's a taskmaster right there. Perfect. All right, finally, uh, level 100 proficiency in uh, bard stuff. So these are not mezzable, so I was wasting my time trying to mez them, which is uh, good to know now. Uh, the only way I can tell is if I actually look at the uh, the spell, whatever. So if we kind of go down here, I feel like it's just like janky up on those walls. Like the way mobs just appear. So I think down here we might be a little bit better off. But I don't know. Now that I know I can't muzzle, well, I just need to switch to the target. And the bard leveled up to 107. The shaman is not quite there yet. She's at 91%. So, still not 100% there. Where is this one? All right, go. And six of nine. So this will be seven of nine. Get this one knocked out pretty quick, I think. Uh, and I did, I did go get, I had to log on my druid because I was <laughs> to, to buff us. Uh, what I did is I buffed the entire, uh, everybody in, uh, in guild lobby. Apparently no one was, uh, buffing in that time that I was there. So I just buffed everybody with my druid. Another taskmaster. So, okay, this is probably the better spot right down here. Um, uh, in this little... This looks so hilarious, uh, what this image looks like, but, uh, in this little tube, if you will, right here, um, that is, uh, probably the best spot to kill these taskmasters. Taskmasters. There we go, and... So the next zone we're going to be doing is Frontier Mountain. So that'll be fun. It's another kill zone versus a collect. Uh, the collect was terrible. Like I did not enjoy collecting uh, all that stuff. Because like you have to just, like, sort them per character. And it just takes time that I don't want to spend on things. All right. So. Oh, yeah. They're, they're getting out that meteor down there. That... Uh, I think that's a part of the, uh, what you call it, quest. Uh, Mage Epic. That is kind of cool. I, so I like it when zones change. Like, I don't like when zones change permanently, right? Like, the way that EverQuest is doing it here, where you have the Kunark level, it's one version of the zone, and then you have the Empires of Kunark which is a different level. I like that. I like being able to, one, go back to something the way it was. And I also like not losing anything. <laughs> like, I think it was uh, the Mists of Pandaria uh, expansion in World of Warcraft. Um, I can't remember what happened, but I couldn't play the last part of that expansion. And I missed out on finishing everything in that Mista Pandaria thing before they changed the zone from, uh, you know, the normal, whatever the hub zone was with the two banks. And then they changed it into the, the like the destroyed version of, or the Shah destroyed everything in the Legion of, uh, the Siege of Ogremar raids started, I think. And I, I, I missed out on finishing all those quests and you can't complete those quests anymore. You know, can't complete a lot of the stuff there. Uh, and I don't know. I thought that was just a really terrible way of uh, handling that. There we go. We are now the uh, uh, mercenary of the scorched woods. So let's get let's get out of this little tunnel here. This tunnel, this tube, if you will, is probably the best place to come. 
for uh, getting those quests done. But there we go. We are now the mercenary of Scorched Wood. And, uh, you know, this is pretty pretty decent. Uh, it was, what, 0.4 experience. Not They're not worth it, right? Experience-wise. Uh, but they're worth it for achievement-wise because we got 20 AAs. And now we have another uh, 20 AAs to spend on whatever we want. I've been spending them on the uh, these glyphs for extra damage when we get to that point when we need it. Uh, you know, maybe grab foraging or whatever. Just, I don't want to have my cap AAs right here. AAs are trivial to get later on. I, I'm just not concerned about it. So I'm surprised. I try to spend them as soon as I get them. Uh, just so I don't accidentally hit the cap and I run I can't I lose AAs that I could have possibly got but almost everything in Empire's Kunar gives 20 AAs per completion so it's pretty nice uh we're going to be doing Frontier Mountains next uh I don't know when I'll do that <laughs> I kind of want to go play Holdridge right now so uh that's kind of be whenever we get to there we get to there but uh, uh we're going to work our way through Empire's Kunark, work our way through uh the next one Ring of Scale and then just until we get to uh, TOV, uh, so I'm gonna do Burning Lands. Uh, let's take a side note here in this already probably hour plus video. Um, so you know, Ring of Scale. If we go here to right, let's do Exploration because that'll show us all the zones. Right, this is Tier One. This is Tier One. This is Tier Two, 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 and Two. Uh, Venetia's Peak requires a key, I believe, to get in, so we might have to do that quest, which seems to be tedious. I have never done it. Uh, we might do that, but we'll, uh, do, we're gonna do all those zones, at least the mercenaries. They all have, uh, mercenary of over there, uh, and all that stuff. I want to do Burning Lands, uh, kind of. I've never done anything in Burning Lands. I've never spent any time in this expansion other than that first zone you go in to go buy spells. <laughs> So we might do something here. Um, we'll see though. I want to do something here, but it might be worth it to just skip into Torment of Velos and uh, see exploration. So I hate the Tower of Frozen Shadow. That is the worst zone in any game. <laughs> like I hate that. I hate icy floors. I hate those so much, but uh, we can do some of these pretty easy. Uh, if we look at the quest, right? So you can kind of see this right here. So the mercenary of Eastern Waste is going to give us 10 AA, but it's going to give us 60% of the experience. Um, we would want to be doing this at 111. So we so just doing those three quests is going to give us like 60% of a level, right? And then here's the Eastern Waste, uh, another, you know, this one's 100% because it gives so much experience at that level. Uh, doing these quests are probably going to be the way we level from uh, 111 all the way up to, uh, I think it's about 115 maybe as, as high as we're going to get. Um, we're not going to be able to do the missions. Well, we might be able to kill Gricklore. I think we might be able to do that. And as you can see here, Gricklore is uh, another one, you know, 100%. So <laughs> this would take us all the way to almost 108 if we finished it now. Uh, these four missions give, you know, massive amount of experience, but being able to do them may or may not be possible for us. Like, I might be able to burn this one down, like, uh, uh the Velik Slab, we might be able to, like, just, if we go full burn at, you know, somewhere in one, you know, but higher than 111, we might be able to kill it. I've never been able to complete this one boxing, uh, so we might need a tank for that one i don't know uh the restless assault this one's is just like annoying it takes forever it's just lots of boss fights over and over again uh might be difficult without a tank i don't know we'll see but uh that's gonna be how we get to 115 and then about 116 we're gonna go into uh the luckland expansion and uh pretty much do the same thing do the quests through there and uh, do all the mercenaries in the new expansion. I haven't really touched the new expansion all year. Like, <laughs> uh, I can't even type. Let's see here. It's not even. I don't know why I'm typing that. All right. 
Um, Night of Shadows. I haven't spent any time in this at all other than uh, Firefall Pass. And I did that with uh, No More Guards. So we'll, we'll, we're going to at least do them some of the mercenaries in this. Because what are the rewards for this? 12 AA and 2% experience. So the experience isn't there, but we'll get some AAs. We need to do the... you got to do all the mercenary quests anyway. Uh, there is a... Uh, where is it? There is an achievement somewhere in here that kind of like wraps it all up, right? Uh, let's see. A champion. Yeah, so the champion uh, is all... You have to have them all done. And Paragon is for doing the quest. So that'll give us a pet and uh, a familiar that's super strong. What is this here? Coin of the Eclipse. I don't even know what that does. I don't have it on any of my characters. Um, yeah, so once you do those, you get all that. Yeah, Champion and Paragon. So there's the Knight Avengers, the reward there. You get the you get the mount, right? So, uh, the, the, like, the way it goes is, like, this is the experience expansion. This is the extra expansion for extra kills and names and gear. Experience, names. Um, so if the next expansion after Night of Shadows is a level cap expansion, that is going to be a leveling expansion. So all the quests inside of that expansion will give, uh, experience at, on a massive scale and then uh the one after that will not so it'll be whatever but uh that's kind of the plan for this series for the you know the remainder of it as we go into the upper levels of the game and then when we hit 120 let's say 125 let's say we we've done everything we are going to go back uh to like the level 100 stuff and start you know getting all those hero fortitude and stuff like that. Uh, I've decided that uh, Ketka and Nilv here are going to be my main shaman and my main bard that I keep around. I have I enjoy them better than the Ixar uh, one and the uh, the other one I have, uh, Stockholm. I'm enjoying, enjoying these characters more. So these are going to be my main ones. I'm going to then do their epic 2.0s and uh, all that stuff. Man, I still need to do Tawani's Epic 1.0. <laughs> I've done two other bards Epic 1.0s uh, named Tawani, but I have not done the actual main Tawani's 1.0. Kind of funny, but uh, there we go. Uh, so that's that's kind of the plan. Uh, I don't know when the next video for Tawani will be, but it will be in Frontier Woods or Frontier Mountains. Thank you very much for watching, and please have a fantastic day.